Pipes. A pipe is used by the shell to connect the output of one command directly to the input of another command. The symbol for a pipe is the vertical bar. The command syntax is command or the option or the argument and then you pipe it to another command with its option or an argument if there is any. Basically, if you wanted to connect two commands together or if you wanted to take the output of the first command and pipe it to a different output, then you could use a pipe. In a Mac keyboard, a pipe is somewhere the key all the way to the right that looks like that. And in a regular keyboard, uh, you'll see the pipe um, option is right below the backspace and you could do I think with the shift and pipe um, so the way it works is you have a uh, you have a command it goes into a pipe and it comes out the output so let's say if you have ls minus l that's a command you run you pipe that the exact same um, pipe character that you use and you put another command to it to refine the output of your last command. So let's look at the example in our Linux machine. If we are in slash etsy directory, by the way where we are, we are in our home directory. So if you if you go into cd slash etsy. Now this directory has a bunch of files and directories which you cannot view all in one page. It will display all at once, but everything will scroll up so fast that you wouldn't even able to view one by one. So when you do ls minus ltr, you hit enter. You see, it went up so fast. What you could do, you could scroll up. So of course, when you do scroll down slow by slow, you're gonna see all those um, files, commands, and directories that are inside of Etsy. Now, you want to view all of them one page at a time. So how do you do that? The way you do it, you put it in a pipe. So you first you do ls minus ltr, you pipe it, and then there is a new command that I want you to learn, which is called more more is the command which gives you the output of a file one page at a time so when you do ls minus ltr pipe it and more it hit enter go now you will see one page at a time of all the contents of etsy directory and at the bottom it does tell you that it's more you hit spacebar to go down to the second page spacebar again Spacebar again, wherever you are, you could quit out of it by hitting Q and you'll get your prompt back. Again, let's do up arrow key, hit enter, spacebar, 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 spacebar to go all the way down. You could keep hitting the spacebar and get your prompt back. So that's how you put in a pipe. You could also do a pipe to have the output of a command and change its output to a different way. Let's say if you wanted to do ls. Uh, by the way, there's another command which is uh, a simpler command if you wanted to learn is ll, which also gives you the result as if you are doing ls minus l. So you do ll and you learn the command more, which gives you one page at a time. What if you wanted to get the last line of your output? Then you run ls minus l, pipe it, and to get the last line, you will have to do tail minus one. It gives you the last line of your output. Now, tail is another command, which is also a cool command, which will give you the last line or lines of an output, which we'll cover later on. So this is what the pipe is. I want you to try with different commands, learn about pipe. Um, I'm not sure if there is a man page for pi because it's a character, but let's see.
Yeah, there is none. But if you wanted to know more about Pipe, I have some documentation. You could get it, or you could, of course, look, look it up online to find out more about pipes. Uh, the pipe is uh, is very important for our lessons um, that we will be covering later on because this is how we're gonna combine our commands.